you please serve me. me. I know I love you. I know I love you. But please, but please don't disturb me. Don't disturb me. Because love is also obedience. So because love is obedience, obey that. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name for your love and care. You and I know. But I cannot stand in the midst of the righteous people who have come to listen to my word and minus your power and your spirit. None of us, including me, can be saved. So I ask in a very special way, take me back to the grave where I came from. If it is possible, manifest your power amid us. If it is possible, King Jesus, speak to us in the softness of my voice. You who says, come unto me, all of you are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Lord, you have said, test and see. Lord, we have come to test your power. This beautiful time and hour, you come down and speak to us. Lord, we do not want to know what is happening in the entire world. But I want to ask you in a very special way. I know the rain is good. We love rain because it helps in so many ways. But I want to ask you for a few minutes that you will give us. Stop it. Allow us to listen to my word. May you manifest your power. May we see you speaking to us, but in the softness of my voice. It's our prayer by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends of Jesus, you are going to do for me four, thi uh, four things. You are going to do for me four things. One is found in the book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse number 6. Malachi chapter 1 and verse number 6. Malachi 1 and verse number 6. Says, but a father honors his son. If I am your father, where is my honor? Isaiah also 41 and verse number 1 says, Oh, listen, oh, Asians. Now, about why God is saying, If you have come to my presence, try and listen to that which I say. Many other times, we come to God like this and we go back the way we came. So God is telling and let us keep quiet. Therefore, my brother and sister, if you have a phone, put it in a flight mode because you are going to use this as a, as a Bible. Look at your neighbor, tell him, neighbor. neighbor. The preacher has said, said, put your phone in a flight mode. Put your phone in a flight mode. That is what the preacher said. I'll ask him again, do you love the preacher? Do you love the preacher? Then obey that. Then obey that. Second thing. Second thing. Ephesians chapter 5, chapter 6, verse number 19. Colossians chapter number 3 and verse number 4 to 5. Philippians chapter 1 and verse number 19. You can read any number 3. Okay. The book of Acts chapter 17 and verse number 2. Acts 18 and verse number 4 says the same thing. It was the custom of Paul to reason in the scripture any time but he take a scripture to read in the presence of God and the presence of the saints of a powerful God, he used to tell people, reason with what? With the scripture. That calls for your prayer also. Pray for yourself, but you may understand the will of God. Somebody say amen. amen. Now the last one is the most precious verse but I love in the entire Bible. That is John chapter 12 and verse number 32. Jesus says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men into my presence. Jesus has promised. But if we have drawn him, uh, 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 we have drawn to him, he is going to lift us up, but for his glory. Let us pray. Father, the hours come but your son may be lifted up. The hours come but your name may be lifted and exalted even more. I ask you, like your son, Speak to us in the softness of my voice. It's our prayer by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic says, try this one more time. Try this one more time is our topic. Friends of Jesus, I want to take you to the book of Genesis chapter 5. In Genesis chapter 5, it's recorded so many events of people, powerful men, who lived before us, but who lived so many years.
years before we lived. The Bible records, but each and every one of them lived for a particular time. Bible records of Adam who lived for more than 920 and then the Bible says he died. The Bible also said Henoch came and Henoch also lived around 915 and he died. There are so many records of people who live in a particular time but the Bible records each and every one of them died. The last person in that verse is Noah who were the sons of Shem, Ham and Japheth. Friends of Jesus, when you go to the book of Genesis, chapter 9 and verse number 28, the Bible records that even Noah lived 950 years and he died. Each and every one of them lived for a particular time and they all perish. Listen to me, friends of Jesus, in the same book of Genesis chapter 5, verse number 21, to 24, the Bible records a life of a person who is different from all of them. He lived in the same time with them. But the Bible says something different, uh, which is not said of Methuselah, which is not said of Adam, which is not said of Noah, which is not said of Enosh. The Bible records something different. Now go with me to the book of Genesis. Genesis, Genesis chapter number 5. Genesis chapter number 5. We read from verse number 21. The Bible says, And Enoch lived sixty and five years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah three hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked with God. And it was not for God took him. The Bible says, among uh, uh, Adam, in the, uh, uh, by the time Adam was li living, Enoch was living, there was a different man among them who was called Enoch. He lived like they lived. But something is different from them. The Bible says, Henoch having lived, God did not allow him to die. God did not allow him to be taken back to the grave, but have lifted it up to heaven. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God. The act of walking with God is what made God take Enoch, Enoch in the presence of Adam and the rest and take him to heaven. Now a question that me and you are going to answer and we are going to do well to answer what is walking with God? Having understood that part in the life of Enoch and our life as ambassadors as sons and daughters of Christ we may start to walk in God by understanding who God really is. Look at your neighbor. Tell him neighbor I love you but don't disturb me. God bless you. Friends of Jesus, go with me to the book. Go with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter number 11. Hebrews chapter number 11. Hebrews chapter number 11. We are reading verse number 5. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before this translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. It is always good but after reading a verse you read it again because maybe something where uh, 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 would have been in that particular verse which you could have not have seen in the first uh, sound. So we will read that verse again. The Bible says in verse number 5 in Hebrews 11 the Bible says, by faith, Enoch was translated, but he should not see them, and was not found, because God has translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony, but he had pleased God. There was a testimony in his life that was found by God himself, but he pleased God. But the question is, what is pleasing God? Because Genesis has told us that Enoch walked with God. But by him walking with God, God translated him to heaven. Hebrews 
confirmed that it is true he was translated to the most high but that translation was not just an easy translation we was found in him but it pleased god meaning he walked according to the ways of god somebody say amen, amen. he walked according to the way of god and that pleased god the last time i checked in the bible i only found one man who pleased god and god was happy with him and everything that he said god agrees with and that person is jesus in the book of uh, uh john chapter 8 verse 29 the bible says jesus record himself but the father always hear me because i always do those things that pleased him in other words the policeman come after doing that which god requires in other words being translated to heaven is a confirmation but me and you have tried have decided to do that which god requires somebody say amen that is what god is saying so enoch walked with god what is walking with god and what is blessing God? Go back to the book of Genesis again. Let's get something in the book of Genesis chapter 6 and verse number 8. The Bible says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Verse 9. The Bible says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. The question is, why did he found grace? grace. These are the generation of Noah. Noah was a just and perfect in his generation and Noah walked with who? With God. But listen, he walked with God but he was not translated to heaven. Let me repeat my words. Enoch alitembea na mwenyezi mungu mungu wakamtoa katika olimengu akampeleka biguri na enoka lipo tembea na mwenyezi mungu mungu wakafurahishwa na enoka akapendezwa nae kisha mungu wakamtua akampeleka biguri lakini kuna mwanamume mwingine pia tunaambiwa ya kwamba nae alitembea na mwenyezi mungu na mungu wakapata ya kwamba ye ni mwenye aki na akapendeza mungu lakini ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba hako enda biguni yuko kaburini translate Enoch and left Noah and all of them walked with God then what is walking with this God in the placement that God requires in heaven friends of Jesus if you are hearing me may I see you by a show of hands God bless you go to the book go to the book of James go to the book of James the book of James the book of James Ama Yakobo James chapter 2 I will read verse 14 and then I read verse 22 the Bible says what do it profit my brethren though a man say he has faith and I have not to walk can say can faith save him if someone is saying that he has faith but but faith has no work the bible says can that faith save him verse 22 answer that question see though thou our faith wrought with his works and by works was faith made perfect and the scripture was fulfilled which says Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. Somebody say amen. amen. The Bible says in that verse faith is good because Enoch walked with God but he walked with God by faith. James is telling us it is true that Enoch walked with God by faith but faith alone cannot save anyone. It means Enoch, everything that he was doing but to trace the kingdom of God, meaning faith minus work cannot save anyone. Somebody say amen. It must be faith 
and walk. Go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 17. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 17. So that you understand that deeply. We'll go back to the book of Genesis because that is where we will put more effort. Hebrews 11 and verse number 17. Speaking of Abraham, the Bible says, By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promise, offered up his only begotten son. So in that particular contest, then it means faith, if it works, goes together. Because Abraham had faith in God. Lakini hiyo imani peke yake haikutosha. Ilibidi asonge ama aende atua lingine ya kuweza kuchukua mtoto wake wa pekee ili akaweze kutoa kafara kwa ajili ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Actually, Hebrew says that act already of Abraham taking his son, even without sacrificing his son, was already an act of sacrifice. Ah, you have not understood. That's why you have not say amen. Ah, don't say amen now. Somebody say your man. Uh -huh. The Bible says, Abraham offered up Isaac, but me and you know, from Genesis 22, Abraham never offered Isaac. But the action, that act of Abraham taking his only son, we know very well from the book of Genesis 25, Abraham has six sons in Genesis 25, having married Keturah. Abraham has Ishmael, and Abraham had Isaac. Both are eight in number. But God only is pleased with one son, and God is saying in Genesis 22, verse number two, you are only son. But God knows Abraham has many sons. But God is telling, I only want Isaac. So that act of Abraham Offering his son, just going but act, means faith was not just an act of Abraham believing in God, but what act of action was very important for Abraham to believe in God. Somebody say amen. amen. So yes, you want faith in God, but there must be action in it. Follow me closely. Somebody say amen. amen. That act is very important in a Christian life. Many of us, we are walking with God, either rightly or wrongly. Many of us, we are either walking with God rightly or wrongly. Somebody say amen. Hey, amen. It depends with how you are walking with God. But God will tell us today, how is it, is but what he really wants from us. Because we have to walk with him. We have to go to heaven. Actually, let me ask you this question. How many of us want to go to heaven? Aha, look at your neighbor. Tell him, neighbor, even you, you want to go. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Even your neighbor want to go. Somebody say amen. Aha. With all, with, with all the goodness of him or her, you also want to go where? Huh. I say goodness. Somebody say amen. Amen. Uh -huh. You also want to go. Even if you are don't don't worry. He or she is doing what? He's going. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, ah, you are good. You are good. That man is good. God bless you for saying hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. We finish. God bless you. Amen. So friends of Jesus, this man walked with God by faith. But that faith was not only alone. There was act of work. There was an act of righteousness. There was an act, an action that was taken by Enoch to please God. And because of that, God found favor in Enoch. God found grace in Enoch. In other words, God was pleased with Enoch and it translated him. He took him to heaven. He took him to heaven. Many of us, we are only walking with God. But sometimes, friends of Jesus, me and you know, God is not pleased with the way we are walking with him. 
We are even walk with God. There are so many important free aspects that are, 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 are important. But if that is the case of Enoch walking with God, then it means walking with God is an activity. It is something you do. Because faith alone cannot save you. It is something you do. Is it something you do? So because of that, friends of Jesus, it is important for us to understand that, that action is an activity. Walking with God is an activity that someone has to do with faith in God. Somebody say amen. amen. Very important for a Christian. But that activity is also not only activity. Me and you must understand that God of heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, must also come down in us so that we understand how it has to please him. How are we to walk with him? How are we to give him power so that he may be pleased with us? There must be an action. In the book, our eye calling, page 116, paragraph 2. Our eye calling, page 116, and paragraph 2. The Bible says, you are, I never don't worry. The Bible says, you are last fought in the, in, the, in the night. You are last fought in the morning. Should be in him who is best, you are eternal glory. In other words, walk, because walking with God is an activity and it is something you must do. He's not just saying, I have faith in God. You must do an action so that God is pleased. The Bible is telling us, I uh, you tells us in our I calling page 116 and paragraph 2 because of that I should be thinking of him each and every time before I go to bed and when I wake up but the problem with us is different before I go to bed you switch off your bundles and then say I love you look at your neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> you wake up in the morning switch off your bundles and then you say honey hello Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Tell him, neighbor, yeah. I still love you. But don't worry. Just listen to this message. Tell him, just listen to this message. Because your last thought in the morning, Ellen Jewa says, should be based on him who is birth your eternal glory. God bless you. Your eternal yeah. glory. But me and you should understand that each and every time we come to the creator, we come to God, by the walk with us, we should understand that in order for us to walk with God, we should be thinking of God. Somebody say amen. Amen. Because friends of Jesus, listen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Me and you should understand friends of Jesus. But uh, if in the morning or at night, what you are all thinking about is your girlfriend and boyfriend. Then God, where is God? Lost your neighbor. 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 I want to ask you a question. I know you have a boyfriend. I'm also aware you have a girlfriend. I am also aware you are not married. But neighbor, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You are only thinking of your boyfriend. You are only thinking of your And your girlfriend. Where is God? Tell him, neighbor. Even now, Even you don't have a Bible. You only have a phone. And you are saying you are walking with God. Look at your neighbor, tell him, neighbor, I still love you. And I must continue loving you. Because if I love you, we will walk together. Tell him, neighbor, what is the most important thing in your life? What is the most important thing in your life? Yes. Yes. Kama kili ambacho tunafanya ni kabla sijalala ani good morning ah sweet and my hey hey look at your neighbor Some of us don't even pray in the morning Some of us don't even pray at night We just go to bed and because the bundles was came in Kenya and safari is in Kenya you use safari and say this is my phone by the way look at your neighbor tell your neighbor I am aware the phone you have is not yours. <laughs> Tell him I am aware. A hundred percent. The phone you have is not yours. It's Ava. It's from your parents. One. 
<laughs> two. Two. Tell him never. Do you want me to say two? Tell him never. Do you want me to say two? Yes. Two. My sister. Hello. But tell him never. I am confused. You have sit out. Hello. 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 Enoch. Please go. Workers, page 100. I want you to read about Gospel Workers, page 100. Uh, read paragraph 1. The Bible says, and it says, uh, uh, and you says, yes, it says, uh -huh. God jealousy is God jealousy, God jealousy, your hours for prayer, your hours of prayer, Bible study, and Bible study, and what, and self examination, and self examination. Uh, set God is stop. God jealousy. You are our hours of prayer, your hours of Bible study, and self examination. Let me ask you, like your brother in Christ, how many of us are ever jealous anywhere? How many of us you have never been jealous? Jealous. You see your boyfriend being taken, and you're just jealous. Look at it. Look at it. You have never been jealous. You people are you human beings? <laughs> Hello? Somebody say amen. Nani ya mawai kwa na wivu? Wivu? Kwa na kwa na wivu? Hata wivu wa menyambia wivu ni lazima. Eh, menyambia wivu ni lazima. Somebody say amen. If you are jealous, God is also what? Jealous. Then the way you are jealous when your girlfriend is taken, the way you are jealous when you just see uh, uh, Tieno walking with a Tieno. You see them just walking. Nothing is happening. They are only walking and you are like, you are not happy. Yeah. <laughs> the same jealousy, you should take the same jealousy in your Bible study. So that when your hour of prayers pass, you say, ah, it is my time for prayer. When your Bible study has passed, but the problem is, how will you remember your Bible study? Well, sweetheart is in your heart. Hello? That is the problem. By the way, let me tell you, young people. Kama uko high school. Amu niyane wale wako high school. Nesha mikono vizuri. Uyo ni mmoja mana ni namjua. Nesha ni mkono vizuri. Aha. Come, if you are in high school, don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It is not to me. LNG White says, don't have. In the book called Stand Apart. By Ellen G. White, don't have a boyfriend or what? Or a girlfriend. If you're in high school. <laughs> Cut your neighbor, tell him neighbor. Yeah. Huh? I know you're in high school. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> tell him stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Continue reading. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, it says. Yes. Set aside a portion of each day. Set a portion each day. For Set. Friends of Jesus, in the book of John chapter 2 verse 4, John 13, in, in the book of John chapter 4, Jesus says, Woman, my hour has not yet come. In the book of John chapter 13 and verse number 1, 17 verse 1, Jesus says, my hour has come. It means each and everything that Jesus did on this particular world, he did according to time. Somebody say amen. Amen. Henoch walked with God. But he walked with God knowing each and everything he should do. Each and every time. Set a person each day. Read. Uh -huh. For a study of the scriptures. For a study God. of the scripture. And what? Communion with God. Communion with God. A study of a scripture. Let me tell you. The best miracle is to have your Bible and know it. Somebody say amen. amen. Look at your neighbor. Tell him neighbor. Nataka ni kuambia kitu kwa kiswahili. Mwambia nataka ni kuambia kitu. Na wana juu hapa ni mambasa. Mwambia nataka ni kuambia hii kwa kiswahili. Tafabali. Ukitoka hapa leo. Ukitoka hapa leo. Na uende kuanza kusoma biblia yako pole pole. Nataka ni kuwakikishie If you try this You will be a different person Somebody say amen If you take it to 
your upon your time to study the word of God. <laughs> People finish any meeting, they will be asking, Kamau wa You know why we are saying Kamau wa Because wisdom is fully in Kamau. Somebody say amen. Amen. But anytime you finish a meeting and you raise up your hand, they say, uh-uh, to -uh, get cash. Because they know there is no wisdom in you. Look at your neighbor. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Hello? Yes. You are going as people are going. You say left, you're there. Right? You, you will never say no to anything. You say, uh, uh, let's go to, uh, to Kakamega. You are there. Let's go to, you are there. If I know nothing, you are saying no. To you, there's no reasoning. God bless you, God bless you. So people are suffering each and every day. Enoch walked with God for 300 years. Let us even assume the 65 days he also walked with God. He walked with God and God took him. In other words, alipendeza mwenyezi mungu kwa hizo siku zote. That means, walking with God is an activity. An activity is Bible. Bible study, prayer, self-examination. That means, walking with God is not just an activity, it is a daily what? Activity. Because he walked with God for 300 days. It is a daily activity. Look at your neighbor. Tell him your neighbor. neighbor. How old are you? How old are you? What of your parents? None of them is 300 years. I tell him. Right? Then all of us are needed to walk with who? Daily. Go to the book of John. Someone is reading. You have taken my Bible here. John 8 and verse number 31. John 8 and verse number 31. Bible says, yes, in a sema. Yes, wakawambia wale wa yaudi. Wale wa mamini. Wale yesu. Nini mukika katika neno lango. Now, that is what Kiswahili says. I want you to read the same thing in, 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 in English. Kiswahili inaacha kitu ingine muhimu sana. Aha. In a sema. Say Jesus. Aha. Yes. If you con. Stop. In my word. Continue means what? It is something what? Yes. So it is not just an activity. It is a daily activity. It is a continuous activity. You do it daily. Go to Luke. Luke chapter 9 and verse number 23. Friends of Jesus, we must come to Christ. And we must listen to Jesus as you speak to us. But again, for that to happen, we must avail ourselves in prayer, in Bible study, and self-examination. Somebody say amen. amen. Friends, I'm not talking of Bible study or own Bible study. Ile mnafanya nimbani. Apana. Zogumuzi ile mnafanya kanisani. Personal what? Bible study. Personal prayer. Personal self-examination. The Bible says in Luke 9, yes, uh huh. Yes. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. That is what I wanted. Daily and follow me. It is a continuous process, it is a daily activity. But friends of Jesus, in the book of Genesis again, chapter 5 and verse 21 to 24, the Bible also says, Enoch had sons and what? And daughters. One of the sons is mentioned there. He's called Methuselah. He had a family. Yes, Enoch walked with God. But he walked with God where? On earth. Hello? Look at your neighbor. Enoch walked with God. Where? 
on earth. What does that mean? Go to the book of John chapter 17. John chapter 17. John 17, read verse 11. The Bible says, John 17 verse 11. Try these friends of Jesus. Try personal prayer. Try self-examination. Try by personal Bible study. And try to understand. But you're aware, you're in the world still. You know, none of us is still in heaven. And but let me tell you, you can do it. You can do it. The Bible says, John 17, 11 says, Yes. And now I am no more in the world. And now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world. But I come to thee. Holy Father. Keep from my own name. Those whom thou hast given me. That they may be one as we are. Jesus tells his father. Father, I am no longer there in the world. But the disciples are there in the world. What should you do with them? Keep them to what? In one. Read verse 15. The Bible says in verse 15. Uh -huh. 15. Yes. I pray not that thou should take them out of the world. I pray that thou should not take them out of the world. Keep them from but what you should keep them keep them in one in unity you know what they are already in the world don't take them out of the world friends of Jesus even though working with God is a daily activity it, it requires you to do your personal Bible study your personal prayer and self-examination and it's also a daily thing and activity that you need to do you also need to understand you are where you are in the world as you do your personal study as you do your personal examination you need to understand you are not yet in heaven somebody say amen, amen. you should do it while you care for your brother you should do it when you care for your prayer parents, you should do it when you care for everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Enoch to walk with God. But he had a family. One of his sons lived the longest in the entire world. That means, as he was walking with God, the son also was doing what? <coughs> Studying what dad, the dad is doing. Friend of Jesus. The Bible also says, Enoch having walked with God, God translated him and took him to heaven. Why did God do that? God did that because Enoch pleased him. Go to the book of Hebrews as we bring this to a close. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter number 11. Hebrews chapter number 11, we read from verse number 9 and 10, and then we jump to verse 13. The Bible says, Aha, Iyo nataka isoma na kiswa hii, ya santa sana. Dugu yangu soma hiyo sasa. Wacha ni kupatia chance, yes. Kwa imani, Kwa imani, Kwa imani, aleka ugenini katika ila inji ya ahadi. Kwa imani, Abrahamu aleka ugenini katika ila inji. Kama katika inji isio yake. Kama katika inji isio yake. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Do you even have an idea of Kenya? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him your neighbor, neighbor. Do you even have an idea in view of this land? Yes. Obviously, you don't have. Tell your neighbor you don't have. And if you have, maybe you have a of your parents. And if you have, ulikimbia kuchukua. Hello? Yes. But listen to me. Wherever you have or you don't have. Wherever you have or you. Ephesians 3. Just stop there. We are, we are continuing. 3 verse 20. The Bible says we are citizens of where? Heaven. Of heaven. Abraham having lived on this one. The same. Just like Enoch lived. And no one the rest. Abraham says he lived on this earth. As if this world is not his. But we are living in this world 
like this world is what? Ours. It's ours. Because the last thing we do at night. Hello? Mm -hmm. Night. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Read, brother. Uh -huh. Alika katika hema pamoja na Isaka na Yakobo. Alika katika hema pamoja na Isaka na Yakobo. Waridi pamoja naye. Waridi pamoja naye. Kwa ahadi ile ile. Kwa ahadi ile ile. Ndio maana Amosi anauliza inawezekanaje wawili wakae pamoja pasipo kupatana? How can two people walk together? Amos says unless they agree, Amos privilege free. But Amos privilege to says God says it is only you I know among every family. I only know you. It is you I want. Therefore, just like Enoch walk, Abraham walk, he was a human being. Me and you can also walk the same way in Jesus' name. Amen. If Abraham's focus was in earth, if Abraham's focus was the second coming of Jesus, actually, not only Abraham. In the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 14, even Jude, uh, Enoch himself, while living on this particular world, was looking for the second coming of Christ. I said the second coming of Christ. In Jude, verse 14, Enoch was waiting for the second coming of Christ. What is our theme? Ambassadors? Get involved. Get involved. Jesus is coming again. If Jesus has to come and take us on friends of Jesus, we must walk with God. It must be a daily activity. It must be seen in us. Our parents must be proud. But indeed, my son, my daughter, is not being wasteful, but is taking care of his life in the present and in the life to come. Somebody say amen. Amen. And they will say, I am proud of my son or my daughter because of who he has become. I am proud of my son, my daughter, because of who he is. I am proud because of who I see today. Amen. Friends of Jesus, I am proud and I may know that Enoch was proud having gone to heaven, watching his son Mephusela living the longest, none of us, even his time has lived like his son. He was so proud. Friends of Jesus, they also want to learn something from you. They also want to see that which they are planted in you. Be proud, but you are born an Adventist. Ah, none of you are saying amen. amen. Be proud, but you are born an Adventist. Amen. Be proud of that. Be proud, but there is an Adventist aspect in your life. Amen. And your entire family. Amen. Be proud for that. You may not know, but you will know one day when you are old. But the only true church is Seventh Day Adventists. Amen. That is why the world is trying so hard to understand the meaning of the name Seventh Day Adventists. The world has tried even to look at who started the name. Me and you know, but none of us started that name. None of us can start it. It was he himself, God, who brought it in 1800s. None of us can know how it came about. Mm. But I want to tell you something with that name. That name is not just a name. That name portrays God himself in it. Mm. Be proud of that name. Mm. Be proud that you are a seventh day. Mm. Friends of Jesus, be also proud that you are an ambassador. Amen. 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 Ambassadors or ambassador station in Kibaliza. Ambassadors of Ambassador Station Bwana Zipiwe. Amen. Bila mnakuja kwa rally hivi, mkuja hivyo kwa Congress pia. Amen. Amina. Amen. Amen. I have gone to two Congress, I have not seen you. I am seeing you now. Somebody say amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Amen. I love you. I love you. We must try to read the word of God. We must try to pray. We must try to bring God so close to us so that you may be accepted. Mm. We must try at all costs. Mm. Let us try, my brothers and my sisters,
to look at Christ each and every day. Yes, we will never be perfect, but there's something we can do. Somebody say amen. amen. We can read our Bibles. Amen. We can pray. We can examine ourselves. Siku, utamaliza shule yumani university, mawanze kufanya kazi. Ndipo utagundua, utangalia nyuma, uangalia watu liyo soma nao, wengine walevi. Wengine wamekata tu maisha inawakata. Wengine wakachagua uchaguzi mwingine. Wengine walikuwa warefu darasani kukuliko. But because they refused to choose Christ, you will look up and say, this is what life is. Take Christ seriously. Somebody say amen. Amen. You will continue being young in Christ daily. Somebody say amen. amen. That is God. He will keep you in perfect peace all the time. Let me end with this verse. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse number 23. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse number 23. But allow me to tell you before we read that verse. In the book of Daniel, chapter 1 verse 6, Daniel chapter 3, verse 12 and 14. The Bible says, Among the Jews was Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Belteshazzar. Among the Jews, among the sons of Judah, who came out of Babylon, and who were brought, who came out of Judah, and were taken in captives in Babylon, there were so many of us, but among them, were found men who refuse, who examine themselves, who are Bible study oriented, who are prayerful. There were so many Judaism who agree with Nebuchadnezzar's ways. So many of them agree. That's why most of us are also agree with the word. We fit in. You want to fit in in everything. Hakuna kitu inakupita. Ikikupita unauliza mimi ni nani kwani hawajanijua kesho uko naye. You don't want anything to pass you. We cannot walk with God that way. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Wacha wakuita wajing mjinga leo kesho utakuwa mtakatifu mbinguni katika jina la Yesu. Amina. What is it? We should not fit in in everything. Sio kila kitu Sometimes we shall think and reason in Jesus' name. Let's read this verse and then we pray. The Bible says, anyone can read that verse. It says, No, I want it to be read in Good News Bible. Bible. Who is having Good News Bible? How many are having Good News Bible? Yes, read Good News Bible. I want it to be read in that version. I have a reason for that. Yes, read. Verse 23. Yes. He says, Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Be careful how you live your life. Be careful. Your life is what you think. Let's pray. Let's turn for a word of prayer. How many of us are saying, God, I want to do my Bible study. I want to do my prayer. I want to examine myself. And I want you to shape my life. It's your prayer. Raise up your hand as we pray. Baba katika jina la Yesu Christo. Uliye ziumba bingu na inchi na biyote vilibiyomo. Tunajaribu kufata hile. Wasayansi wanasema, Baba, katika ulimengu huu tunawish. Wasayansi wanasema ya kwamba kitu ikifanyika kwa siku ishiri na mauja inakuwa tabia ya mtu kumbe yesu tukiacha yale mabaya ambayo tumekuwa tukiyafanya na leo tuamue kuanza kusoma biblia kwa siku ishina moja peke yake inakuwa tabia yetu tuanze kuwa watu wa maombi kwa siku ishina moja peke yake inakuwa tabia yetu tuanze kujitambua kwa siku ishina moja peke yake baba inakuwa tabia yetu tunaomba hali yo Iwe katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu. Tuwezeshe kufanya hayo.
tuwezesha kujaribu ili tu peke yake jaribu tu ili ulimwengu tunajua imechapuka na hata katika higarika hili ambalo tunaishi tunajua ya kwamba alipendezi najua ya kwamba ina changamoto mengi katika maisha yetu lakini baba tumegundua wewe ukitangulia mbele tumegundua ya kwamba wewe ukiwa dereva wewe ukiwa kiongozi yote yanawezekana katika jina la Yesu ndio maana masaa haya matakatifu Nina kabili wapendwa hao walionyesha mikono wao pamoja nami mkononi mwako. Baba tujakamilika. Baba tuenye bambi. Baba tunanuka. Baba tustahili. Lakini katika jina la Yesu, waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana mbili moja inasema watoto wangu wadogo na waandikia haya ili kwamba msitende bambi. Lakini kama mtu akitenda bambi, Yesu unasema tunaye muombezi kwa baba, Yesu Kristo mwenye haki. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Kwa sababu wewe ni muombezi wetu. Kwa sababu wewe ni jemedari wetu. Kwa sababu wewe ni kimbilio wetu. Tunanyenyekea mguni pako sasa. Zungumza na mtu huyu 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 mzee. Zungumza na huyu mama. Zungumza na huyu kijana. Zungumza na huyu ambasada. Zungumza na hata na huyu mtoto katika jina la Yesu. Wacha Bwana ulete uwisho katika sehemu hii ya pwani. Wacha Bwana yale ambayo wale vijana ambao leo tunaita young adults hawakufanya wakiwa vijana wacha sisi tuwe wa kwanza kuifanya katika rika hili katika jina la Yesu ili bwana tulete utofauti fulani katika maisha yetu kama wazee ama wazazi wetu hawakutembea pamoja nawe leo tunataka kuanza kutembea pamoja nawe kama wazee wako watu wa kusoma wanaishi na experience lakini leo sisi tunataka kuwa tofauti. Tumejikabidhi mkononi mwako. Bwana tuzungumzie, turekebishe, tuoshe na utusafishe hadi urudipo na kila mmoja anayekubali kwamba Kristo anaenda kufanya yote katika jina la Yesu, asem pamoja nami. Amina. 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 Mungu awabariki sana. Amina. Amen.